a brutal Baruch 2 and 29. And if you will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. Right now we are we are few in number. Alright, and it's according to the elect. Because we in this we in this kingdom, this heathenistic kingdom. And we and our and our people that's actually our, the Israelites that's not woken up to this truth, all right? They don't count. The elect, we are small. We we are a small uh, a remnant, man. Because we're the only ones that's out there teaching His word, pushing His word, and and, and pushing the kingdom, man. Our people is not looking for it. So what? That ma that makes the, that makes it easier for us to be controlled, so to speak. you like a zombie because I mean if eventually you going uh, get burned by the missiles then you already did you already marked so that's why you're saying like you don't count verse 30 for I knew that they will not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people but but in the land of their captivities they shall remember themselves. Uh, add something based on what you're saying, that we are small, it's like something you're saying that we are a small number, right? It says here in uh, Romans, Romans chapter 11, verse 1, I say then, have the Most High cast away his people? God who, forbid. Who's the Most High's people? The Israelites. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans walk on the earth today. God, God forbid. And that's another point. Killing the Gentile talk because the Most High didn't cast away his people. God forbid, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. The Most High have not cast away his people, which he foreknew. What ye not what the scripture said of Elias, how he maketh intercession to the Most High against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed. Uh, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thy altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. Yeah, because we, we persecuted for this word. We persecuted for this word, man. And like you were saying earlier, we're small in number, so it feels like we're overwhelmed. You know what I'm saying? We're being controlled, but, you know, but we're, we're small in number, basically. That's what, you know, but, uh, I, 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 I like it. You know, with our people not follow along with the program, you know, that that makes it like my brother says overwhelming. It's it's more it's more work work for us to do. I mean we gotta we gotta keep we gotta stay in this word, man. Huh? Cause there ain't nobody else gonna do it. As far as these two third niggas, unless the most high wake them up, they're not gonna do it. Verse four, it says, but what saith the answer of the most high to him? I have reserved to myself seven thousand men. Who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal? Right, and, and the image of Baal today is bowing down to bowing down to what America says. You know, celebrating these holidays and all this other wickedness. And the seven thousand men refers to the elect, man, because it, it, it is Israelites that actually don't give a fuck about this white man. That actually care, worships the Most High. To hell with these idols. We gonna serve the Most High because we gonna get a kingdom. We got something that's gonna be ours, man. Where all righteousness dwells. Yeah, I'm, I'm serving the Most High. That's what, that's what my mindset is. Lord willing, Lord willing, I'm part of that. Look. Verse 5 says, Even so, then at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. Yeah, that's the elect. He said, he said a remnant. Because, like, like it says in uh, the gospel, the, uh, the harvest is, uh, the, it says, the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. It's, it, it's, we, it's, Israelites, we outpopulate any other nation. As a nation. Yeah, yeah, kind. As a nation, we, we outpopulate out any other nation. But it's only, it's, the Lord only set up certain men 
to do this do this work. To praise his name. To this day. Right? Not only in the kingdom, praising his name today. Uh, that's, that's a cut to me, man. Uh, Romans chapter, in, chapter 9, verse 26. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living of the living power. Isaiah, oh, so like everything And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, which is America, there shall they be called the children of the living power. Yeah, we're the Yasha Allah. Princes of the power, princes of the most high. Okay? Because right now in this kingdom, we, we're not recognized as the Israelites. Our people don't know who the hell they are. So what? The most because the most high put a stumbling block and, and that spirit of blindness on them. But he woke up certain men to wake up to this word and like, oh yeah, we 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 are children of the most high, man. And to go teach Israel. I got a uh, this is the point is 27. It says, uh, uh -huh. Hey. Isaiah, Isaiah also cried concerning Israel, though the number of is number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, uh, a remnant shall be saved. A remnant shall be saved. That's the, that's the elect. That's the, that's the point. The elect, man. We are small, small in number amongst these heathens. It says the same thing, it's going to be quick. Isaiah, Isaiah 10 and 22, For though thy people Israel be as a sand of sea, yet a remnant of them shall return the consumption. Oh, it says a remnant of them shall return. Return to what? To their heritage. Knowing who, knowing who they are. Knowing that these, these heathens, mainly the white man, ain't, ain't nothing, man. And knowing that they're supposed to be, we're supposed to be above these other nations. says, the consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness. Yep. Let me see, uh, see what they have for consumption, for consumption right there. The word uh, consumption is uh, destruction. Yep. So basically, hey, it, it's, it's, it's already established, so the two-thirds are going to perish, and the elect is going to make it. And it's, the, the numbers are set. So you can't sit here and try to gather Israel outside of the Most High's will. Like Nate, Nate the Snake Roberts is doing in um, 14th Street Israelite. Because he's good for that. Pushing that bullshit. That bullshit doctrine. We all need to come together and love. And that's what all these other niggas do. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to come together and build up Israel. You're supposed to be looking for the elect. That's it. Yeah, they're trying to change the most high's plans for themselves. You're supposed to look at you supposed to look at hey, you're supposed to look at these two-thirds as heathens. You know what I'm saying? That's how you gotta deal with them, because at the end of the day they're gonna be destroyed with them. Once they come back in the kingdom, now it's all gravy. You know? That's how that's all that. And we can come all together and all that. We're we gonna, we gonna come together. Because it's most high's will. It, it's gonna be it's gonna be like that. You ain't you can't you don't have to force the course of the river. It's gonna work out. It's gonna naturally come together. Just like the Most High said, uh, 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 Israel, Israel and Judah shall come together. We don't have to force the course of the river. We're naturally coming together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like what, what, what do they expect us to do? Go and, you know what I'm saying? Go over to South Omaha. You know what I'm saying? And start dating a lot of Mexicans and getting on cool with them. No, the Lord is gonna bring all that together, man. Trying to force it. Because you, yeah, you, you trying to force it. Hey, you, you Mexicans don't play about that, you know? <laughs> That's why they always, they, they have that household type thing, you know? So, you go and date one of their daughters and everything, it's a different story than dating one of the, uh, like they, it's a different thing than dating, like, like, Because that spirit that the Lord got on us is to, to be separated as, as of now. But now he's bringing the men together so his work can be done, man. So nothing is being forced. 
Now us being being puppets and understanding that we puppets, all we gotta do is do, play our part. If you a prophet, go out and teach the word, man. Don't force it. Don't try to go in a damn uh, Mexican church and try to teach the word or nothing like that, man. Just go on the highways and the byways like you're supposed to, and, and then let the Lord do what He do. Well, now, ain't nothing wrong with uh, you know, like we went over south, you know, where the, where the Latinos are at. Nothing not wrong with that, but we're not forcing the course. You know what I'm saying? We just know that we can do that. You know, but we're not. You know, like y'all gotta, y'all gotta listen to the prophecies. Nah, we just do, we do, we do, cause we have faith. And what the prophecy said, that, hey, Latinos gonna wake up too. You know what I'm saying? They, and at the end of the day, they, shit, they, they're more woken up, even though they, 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 they're heavy into idol worship, but they're more, they're more into the Most High than Jake is, and Judah is, man. You know what I'm saying? But they just always left with it. You know? Judah just, they buck wild. Either in the Muslim, they're five percent of. They don't even believe in the scriptures. You know, half of them lesbians and dykes and all that. Egyptology. Egyptology, you know. Hey, it, 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 it was a while before you seen a gay Mexican. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't fuck around like that. They got them out here, though. But shit, it was hard to find a gay Mexican, man. You know? Hey, they, it's like one actor. Oh, no, nah, that mother. I don't know. I he's just making shit super drunk. drunk. Yeah, yeah, bread. <laughs> bread. Yeah, yeah. Bread. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but they're not running. Basically, they're not running rampant out here like like Judah is, man. Wilding out, you know. Yeah, they got Judah. Yeah, they. Man, I thought they was in Alabama. They had a fucking uh, a gay cheerleading squad, man. I was, like all all niggas. Oh, that was Atlanta. <laughs> no, it was it was one in another another part of the country too. Oh shit. Oh, and it, a high, uh, it was a high school cheerleading squad, all faggots. How are you supposed to maintain in sports, you know what I'm saying? You got all male cheerleaders. <laughs> like here at the basketball games. Yeah. No. They ain't gonna make sense. I ain't playing it. I ain't coming to do it. That's why, that's why the other nations really don't deal with uh, us, us here in America like that. You know what I'm saying? Because we... We as a nation, all the Israelites in America have been Americanized, man. Uh, the Israelites from out of the country don't want to deal with that shit. You know what I'm saying? All that homosexuality and all that. Basically, basically whatever laws they, they keep, and they know Americans don't do it, they don't fuck around. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's why you really don't see the Mexicans dealing with Jake like that. They do. You know what I'm saying? But they really deal, they really deal amongst themselves. You know, at the end of the day, like them niggas are wild, man. You know what I'm saying? They end up being gay or something, you know, doing some stupid shit. Like you know? uh, a good example, it's a movie that just came out, it's called uh We Are the Millers or Meet the Millers. And uh they went down to Mexico to sell some or to get some drugs or whatnot and they stole it from a Mexican dude and he had to come all the way to America to get his drugs back. And he even said, he said, You made me come to this god forsaken place. America, you know what I'm saying, to get my drugs, I'm gonna kill you. Why? Because you know America's dirty. It's filthy over here. Just the whole way of life. Yeah. And he live in Mexico. <laughs> yeah, yeah, America's the most filthiest place on planet Earth. I had a preset for Because you were talking about uh, how the numbers are already set. Uh, and you know what I'm saying, if you're gonna make it, you're gonna make it. If you're not, if you're not. Uh, Zacharias, uh, Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Two parts, two thirds of the nation of Israel is going to be cut off and die. Through famine, right, through, through uh, race riots, through all these different calamities that the Lord is going to bring upon this earth. Definitely with them missiles. Yeah, 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 definitely. The missiles are going to you know, sweep, sweep the rest of them niggas that didn't die from the famine out. Know? Or the other plagues. And, that, and that, that's, that's, enough, that's more proof that we don't need to be kicking around them type of niggas. If that's the two thirds of our people is going to, got to die. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Shit, from the womb, that was their destiny, man.
just like the, the Most High, he ordained prophets from the womb, he ordained two thirds from the womb. But the third should be left therein. But the third, which is the elect, all right? The third shall be left therein. All of Israel's not going to make it. Two thirds of Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are going to be destroyed by the Most High. But one third of them are going to actually make it, which is which today we call the elect. <laughs> you, you had a question, or you just? Uh, it's from you. Uh, Romans, Romans chapter 8, verse 29. For whom he did foreknew, foreknow, he did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. Mm -hmm. That's the elect. Who, who is his son? Who the world calls Jesus. Okay? And it, it, it's already, he said, foreknew, we was predestined. Everybody that serves the Lord in righteousness are predestined to do it. So like, like, like everybody say, oh, I chose the Lord. No, the Lord chose you just a time, a point in time in life that we woke up. So that shows what? The Lord already knows who's going to make it, who's not going to make it. It's not about what you do, it's how he made us. All right? So ain't no changing nobody. It's about just playing your role, right? It says uh, that he might be the firstborn, firstborn among many brethren. Here's the point. Moreover, whom he, he did predestinate, them he also called. He also called. And Call, he, was like a, he called to do this work. Yeah, he called to make it too. He yeah. called to be saved. It says, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. Yeah, that's right. From the jump. That's way from the jump before they even came out the womb. You know, so that shows you can't you can't wake nobody up. We're we're just out here. What we're doing is what we were called to do. And what we we're called to do. Is gonna basically wake somebody else up that were already was meant to be woken up. We're just we're just a part of the process. Anything you do, you're a part of the Most High's process. You know, you can you can say or you don't believe. Hey, you're a part of the process. They say what is something to not believe? You just you're just a part of it. Ain't no way you're ducking the Most High. Yeah. Saint John ten to twenty six. But ye believe not because ye are not of my sheep. As I had said unto you. Hey, that, that's a part of the most high's process. To show that, that there's people that's not of his sheep. Because he said, for those who are predestined, they, they are conformed to the image of the Son. Alright? And that, that's not the image of Christ. We're conformed to the true image of Christ, which is the uh, the skin like brass, woolly white hair. Alright? Uh, uh, eyes like fire. We're conformed to the true image. What people, the people that are conformed to the fake image, what that make them? Fake, false, uh, false believers, not, not the antichrist at the end of the day. But you're worshiping another Jesus. All right. If you, if you can understand why we got horns on Jesus Christ, quote unquote, then you're conformed to the true image. But if you can't understand, that shows that you ain't right in the first place because you ain't read the Bible. All right, go ahead. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Yeah, that, that's not talking about when we read the Bible, and you're walking by, and you hear the scriptures. You know, that's talking when it says here, you understand what the scriptures are talking about. You're not going to sit here and read in Revelation where it gives the depiction of Christ, or how he looks, and then says Jesus is all colors. He has no color. Color doesn't matter, all right? That's not written in the Bible. It don't say color doesn't matter. It would have said the revelation of Jesus Christ. Color doesn't matter. Don't worry about that. Let's get into these uh, these uh, prophecies. No, it gave you his 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 uh his, his the way he looks. All right, and, and his record. And then, and then what it says about that? It said the scriptures that are written before time were written for our learning. You were supposed to learn that for a reason. You didn't learn one plus one, and then turn around and say, oh, one plus one doesn't matter. It does matter. It might it might not hold as much weight as you know multiplication. Or, or, or calculus, but it still is important, and, and, and that it all starts from the basics. And that that's the basics right there. All right, how people are conformed to a, a, a false image, you know, and that's what. Hey, when Christ come back, and he will come back looking like Shaft, you know, like he came back the um when he came the first time, he said, I, "I'm in front of your face, and you knew me not." You gonna come looking, expect to see this guy, and he come back looking like Shaft, you gonna be like, "Wait." 
You know, you're not Christ. You know, I don't need to listen to you. Hey, that's what's going to happen. So image and color does matter at the end of the day. Now, once you go and deal with us as a nation, it, it really uh, is a spirit at the end of the day. You know, and with Christ, it's a spirit. If you're a true worshiper, you want to know who the true worshipers are. All right? A person that keeps the law, statutes, and commandments, a person that really believes in the law, you know? Well, that's a, that's a different can of worms, though, you know? Go ahead, you got something? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Like, go ahead. But y'all was speaking on, uh, you know, the, the number is already set. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, St. John 10 and 28. And I give unto them, talking about the ones that follow him, unto them eternal life. And they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. That's right, because the elect is going to be the elect. Whoever the Lord chooses to, to be his elect, no man, no man can... You, can, you, you can't, can't change it. You can't squeeze in there, man. Yeah. Like, oh, no, there's, there's no... You can't, yeah. Like, people say, well, well we, we out here and we give the truth raw and uncut. But how do you expect people to wake up? People going, we're not, we're not controlling nothing. You know? We could, hey, we could be doing the wrong thing, but not. But regardless of what we're doing, the right people are going to wake up at the end of the day. Let me read you. Go ahead. My father, which gave them me, is greater than all. No, not 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 the Bap not Salem Baptist Church, not your mom, but the Most High. Go ahead. And no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. That's right. Or oh, what if you? It says, what if you make or what if you do something make them not believe? They wouldn't have believed it from the jump. That's that's all that is. They wouldn't have believed it from the jump. The people will come. The people came at us last week, trying to make us fall off. And you, you're not going to change my mind. I don't care what you say. I could watch TV all day about atheism and whatever. I'm still going to believe in the Bible. But if that makes for you, I'm not sure documented by atheism. And then you become an atheist, you would like to be If it were possible, then you see where you're left. Yep, if, if it were if possible. possible. So if, if you fall off, if you fall off by being beguiled by some, some nonsense, you weren't part of it. Period. You, yeah. you didn't know it. You weren't part of it. Like, you didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> You know, from the jump, we don't know. That's why we say, Lord willing, that we're part of the elect. But at the end of the day, the Lord knows, and we was ordained. Get that in the, uh, with that Ephesians or Galatians. We were ordained before the womb. You know what I'm saying? So it, it ain't no, any old, uh, it's a, I think it's in Ephesians. Predestined before the womb. You know what I'm saying? So all this, oh, I chose God, or you, you know, you just got to read the Bible and do what the Bible tells you to do. Work on your own salvation. What we out here doing is working on our own salvation. All right? Get, get that one. Is that it? Well, also, what he said uh, proves reincarnation because he said um, they're going to get everlasting life. Paul died. Peter died. John died. You know what I'm saying? So how you get everlasting life and you die? Because your spirit doesn't die. Your spirit uh, goes to the most high. You come back down. Basically, I said, um, because it said, the scripture said that, uh, you get everlasting life. I said, Peter died, Paul died, John died. So how do you get everlasting life if you die? That proves reincarnation. Because your, because your spirit doesn't die. Your physical body might die, but your spirit doesn't die. According as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. No, no, oh, that's I chose the Lord. One day I just woke up and I chose the Lord. No, one day the Lord chose you. All right, go ahead. Before the foundation of the world, he chosen us before the foundation of the world. So, really, technically, it's not about what you do. You know what I'm saying? It's not about what you do. What the thing is, the, the trick part of it is. You're gonna, the, the fact that he chose us, we're gonna do right. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just like a football player. It's not the fact that you chose football, or uh, chose that team, that team chose you, but it don't make, it, it, you're still gonna be good. It's not gonna choose somebody that's garbage. You know, if you're a first round pick, it's gonna, if he choose you, you feel you in where they need to be. Yeah, so if the most I chose us, that don't mean we're gonna be out here wilding out, we're still gonna be saved. Do anything, no, he's gonna choose the right, the right people. He made us, but you know, we choose. Go ahead. 
says, uh, before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy. That we should be holy. Before the foundation of the world, he chose us. So that, you know what another thing that shuts down? That Americans got a problem with? Choice. We don't, we don't have choice. We just program, we're programmed to do a certain thing. You know what I'm saying? If the Most High made us be righteous, we have a choice of a gay person and a straight person. If the Most High made you straight, you're going to always choose a straight man. You're always going to choose a woman, being a man. But hey, if you're a creator, you can get Hey, you're going to choose whatever the Most High put the Spirit on you to choose. Or how you was created, you know? Go ahead. So it's really no choice, it's just the option out there of the choice. You know? Without blame before him in love. That's right, go ahead. Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself. Before the womb, we was, we was predestinated. Alright? That's how that's how crazy it is. You know, go ahead. According to the good pleasure of his will. Going according to the good pleasure of his will, because you might say it's not fair. You can do everything. You, hey, you can give back to the poor. You can feed the whole world. But the most high didn't choose you, you still wouldn't make it. That's just how it is. But the thing about it is, the way he made us, you can go and fight for your salvation. And then your, your, your spirit will say, man, you know what? I'm about to just kill everybody. You just snap. Because at the end of the day, he didn't choose you. Go ahead. No. Okay. Uh, verse uh, Ephesians 1 and 11, for whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. It was, it was a predestined the Israelites. Really, it goes all the way back to Adam. He always chose somebody from the jump, from Jacob and Esau. He chose Jacob before he even came out the womb. So it's really not about what you do. The Most High has a movie. You know what I'm saying? If you're an actor trying out for a script, you are predestined to die in that movie before you even got to the script. You know what I'm saying? That's how it is with the Most High. Hey, before you even came out the womb, your, your role in this movie is already chosen. You know, as soon as you come out the womb, bang, you hit the, you hit the movie. You can say, I want to I'm a good person deep down inside, but hey, in this movie, you're gonna die. You're, you're wicked, or you're good, and you're gonna get saved. All right, go ahead. Romans 9 and 11. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, and having done any good or evil, all right, that the purpose of God according to the election might stand. Just that the purpose of God according to the election might stand. Go ahead. Not of works. Not of works. But of Him that called. Of Him that called Him. All right, but you might say that it seems like unfair unfairness. Hey, most I can do what he wants, all right? We can't do what we want. You want to do what you want, but God can do what he wants. He can choose who he wants to choose. Because at the end of the day, we're all filthy. We all deserve to be put to death. So he got to choose somebody. It just, yeah, that's, that's how the cookie crumbles. Some people are not going to get chosen. All right, go ahead. Uh, I'm going to finish this in peace with you. Ephesians 1 and 12, that we should be to the praise of his glory, who first trusted in Christ. Who first trusted in Christ. We were, we were ordained from the womb, before the womb, to serve the Lord. So it's just like I said, it's not like we're going to come out being children, but we're going to come out doing what we want to do. We are, we are uh, I'm saying our DNA to serve the Lord. If it's in your DNA to serve the Lord, something is about you that's about the Lord. You know what I'm saying? There's people out here that that eat people. you like, how, how in the hell you can eat people? What made you do that? Because that's that's not in your DNA. You see righteousness and you choose it. You know what I'm saying? Because the Most High made us that way. We're, we're, we're like a machine. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you got an ice cream machine. The thing is going to pump out ice cream. You can't, you can't, the machine can't turn around and say, I want to be a yogurt machine. You can be a yogurt machine all you want, but you're still going to pump out ice cream. You know what I'm saying? We're a machine to be righteous. You know what I'm saying? Or, or, hey, we was wicked at a point in time. You wanted to, hey, you wanted to, uh, what they say, get, get the ladies, you know, toss them up or whatever. But at the end of the day, the Most High had you, get, had us turn. You know what I'm saying? We used to do all kinds of stuff we was in the world. We wanted to be rappers or whatever. But the Most High said, no, you're going to get into the scriptures. You know? It gives you that drive. You got that uh, precept. Let's go. Y'all, they got a little bit more to go. Let's get it. 13. In whom ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of truth, the 
gospel of your salvation. Yeah, what's what's in our DNA? When we hear the word truth, we cling on to it. You know what I'm saying? We was talking about the other day. You look at people, it's, they have a hard time dealing with reality. They sit and say, uh, oh, I don't believe in violence. It don't matter if you believe in violence or not, does it? It still exists because it exists. Somebody slapped you, that's violence. Whether you believe or not, that's that's just life. You know what I'm saying? That's the way to go. Whatever you say, this reality exists. Alright? And people don't want to accept reality. Alright? Go ahead. And whom also, after that ye believed, ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Yep. So basically, we had a movie to play. We started out filthy, you know, and then we heard that word, and then we were sealed from the end. We just had to play our movie out, you know? And, and guess what? In Peter's, he said uh, also that the, uh, the, the wicked are vessels of wrath fitted for the destruction. So you're made to die. You're made to be, there's people out here that's made to be destroyed, there's people out here made to be saved. And, and we can't change it. We think we got, we got us out here thinking we can change it, but we can't. And that's what people must understand at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the way the cookie crumbles, all right? You got that precept. Let's go. Uh, St. John 15 and 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit. That's right. So, so, but the crazy thing about it is how, how, how good the most, how cold the most high is, he'll sit here and think, make you think you chose him. But at the end of the day, he chose you. All right? At the end of the day, he gets you up and say, look, man, go look for somebody. Go open the Bible up. You know, I'm going to make you understand this real quick. But for 16 years, you ain't care nothing about the Bible. Oh, you've been doing everything under the sun, but one day you just wake up and say, I'm about to read this. Oh, I understand it now. And then you start reading more. Then you start reading more. You know what I'm saying? That's just that's how it is. The most high choose you. Alright? Go ahead. Just like with Paul. Paul was wilding out. Paul didn't choose the most high, the most high chose them. Hey, and then what what happened? Paul got on fire about what he had to do. But he was the total opposite beforehand. You know? Go ahead. That ye should go, that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. So that's what he chose us to do. If he chose you, you're gonna get up. Like, if you believe in something, like I always say, uh, if you believe in something and you believe that you got a family inside your house, and you go down the street, go to the store, you see an army coming, saying, man, uh, what such and such house is, and that's your house. And they say we about to blow their head off. What you gonna do? You gonna run back home and say, "Look, man, they're coming. They're coming for you. You need to get up out this house." That's what's happening when we read the scriptures. It says the Lord's coming back to destroy the wicked. We're out here saying we come, we go run out here. They say, "Look, man, the Lord's gonna destroy the wicked. You know, the Lord's gonna, he's gonna save the righteous. This is what it is. It's the truth. I can't lie to you because if I lie to you, that might get you caught up. You know, and get you caught up in the mix." So we have to come out here and get the straight, to the point, straight skinny, so our people, the Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, can wake up and get up out of here. You know, that's that's what we're out here doing. If you, if you go back to the household and tell them, like, they're coming for you, but I already talked to them, I set up a deal, so you're going to be all right. And you're lying about it, then they thinking they all right. Because you're, you're comfortable, you know what I'm saying? They're feeling good now, so they sit there and they get caught up. Oh no, Amos three, three and one. But yeah, you gotta, you gotta warn the people. And the Lord put the spirit on us to warn the people. But guess who's not warning the people? Churches. All right, they always talking about prosperity and blessing, and and, and uh, we need to love each other. You know, at the end of the day, you know, you're supposed to love. You're supposed to love the Most High and the people that worship the Most High. You don't love a murderer. You know what I'm saying? Because if you love a murderer and you let him in your house, what's going to happen? He's going to murder you and everybody in your house. All right? You don't love a thief, you know, and let him in your house. If you go to sleep, he's going to steal everything. Don't be stupid. Now, if a thief says, I'm done with stealing, you know, I repent, I need to come to the Lord, then you can let him in your house. But if they're stealing, you don't love them. That's why oh, God loves everybody. What about a pedophile? You know, you don't love no pedophile. 
people gotta understand the reality of things, man. You gonna let a pedophile plan your daughter's slumber party? Yeah, because you, <laughs> yeah, play it your slumber party. Watch up SpongeBob. Yeah, God loves everybody. You know, watch my kids. I'm about to go to the movies. No, that's stupid. You know, God ain't with that. All right, go ahead. Amos chapter three verse one. Hear this word that the Lord had spoken against you, O children of Israel. Yep, O children of Israel. Now, at the end of the day, the Lord is dealing with the Negro, Latinos, Native Americans. Like we said earlier, we are scattered across the four corners of the earth. So, what that means? You think we're going to look like Shaft in China, and we've been mixing with Chinese people for hundreds of years? No, we're going to start looking like Chinese people. All right? We're going to start looking like Africans. We're going to start looking like Indonesians, Philippine, uh, Philipp uh, Philippines. All right, we're gonna start looking like these people. So now that that has happened, now what we gotta do, we gotta start dealing with the spirit. We gotta start saying, or oh, this person a person of God? You know what I'm saying? Do they understand these scriptures? Do they accept the scriptures? But they got people that look like us, that look like Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, but they're of another nation. Like uh, Lenny Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz look like, he look like a black guy, but he's, he's, he's actually a, uh, a Jew. Or not a Jew, he's a fake Jew, he's a Melakite, all right? And he's not, he's not, you know, Obama. Everybody got that argument with Obama. You know, he's, he's, he's African. George he's not, Zimmerman. George Zimmerman. Yeah, he looks Mexican, but he's he's actually a so-called white man. All right? Go ahead. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Yep, he's, he's talking to the Israelites. And that's at the end of the day what he's talking to. Go ahead. Saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. You only have I known. That, there you go. What about when what, what you get that the Lord deals with everybody? He only deals with Israel because what is what is, what is it dealing with? It's dealing with order. All right. If you had if you had a job, the CEO, the, the man that owns the business or however, he deals with the head manager, general manager. The general manager deals with the, the managers. The managers deal with the workers. All right. The Most High runs this. All right. So as far as the next person down, he's he's dealing with on this earth is Israelites. Now us as Israelites, we deal with the rest of the nations. Um, we deal with the rest of the nations. It's order. You know? Go ahead. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Yeah, because, hey, if you're messing up, or, or if the house is messing up, what it all goes down on? It goes down on the manager. All right? If the business is not working, it falls on the manager. And that's how it is with us. This world is not being ran right. We're not doing what we're supposed to do, so it's going to fall on us first. All right? Go ahead. Two walk together except they be agreed. No, that's a rhetorical question. All right, go ahead. Will a lion, will a lion roar in the forest when he have no prey? Will a young lion cry out of his den if he have taken nothing? Can a bird fall in a snare upon earth where no where no gin is for him? Shall one take up a, a snare from the earth and have taken nothing at all? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? The people will not be afraid. Yeah, that's that's what I wanted right there. So a trumpet be blown in the city, the people shall not be afraid. We go on TV, they're talking about oh blessings and all this. Man, but you look at real life, people out here dying. Alright, people out here just just the other day, America dropped drones on, on uh what Yemen? Yeah. You know, seven people killed. But they get on uh, get on the news and say we're looking for peace. You know, they're not. Because if you're looking for peace, you wouldn't be dropping drones. Or you might say, oh, that's killing Al-Qaeda. But wait, you're you're um, giving money to contract to so-called Al-Qaeda contractors, building their money up so they can continue in their, their terroristic acts. So wait, how are you going to fund them and then bomb them? You know what I'm saying? What, what is going on? You no, know, they got a whole agenda going on. America is, is, is snakes. At the end of the day, the society is snakes. You know, you got to deal with reality. Nobody gonna sit here and bomb somebody, then fund them, 